The following tip is useful to anyone who wants to improve their accuracy in the reading, but it's especially useful to those of you out there who are looking to get a top score, you know, 800 or thereabouts. And the big issue when you're trying to get an 800 or anything significantly high is every little mistake you make adds up. So you want to avoid those avoidable mistakes, those silly mistakes that are just based on computation or misreading something. The key is to avoid those as much as possible because they just hurt your score so significantly. They hurt your score just as much as if you just didn't know how to do the question at all. So one of the ways to avoid that is to start solving questions in multiple ways. If you can solve a problem in two or three different ways and get the same answer each time, it just maximizes the chances that you're going to get it right. Right? It's just super unlikely that you would make the same mistake approaching the question multiple ways. So how would that appear on a question like this? Well, one way to do this is just to solve it algebraically. So I have 4 times 3x quantity squared divided by quantity 2x squared. So we can just solve this algebraically. So let's square these terms. So it's 4 times, don't forget you're squaring both, so this is 9x squared. And then we're going to factor or square both of these, so it's going to be 4x squared. And now just start canceling out terms. The 4s cancel, the x squareds cancel, we're just left with 9, and that's your answer. So great, excellent. What do I mean by solve it multiple ways? Well, on this question, maybe another way to solve it is to pick an x. So let's say x equals 2. And let's see what we get when we plug in 2. Uh, so 4 times 3 times 2 squared over 2 times 2 squared. So this is going to be 4 times 6 squared over 4 squared. So this is 4 times 36 over 4 times 4. I'm just going to leave them unfactored so we can cancel. The 4 cancels the 4. The 4 goes into the 36, leaves 9. So again, we get 9. Now that was a simple example. Even though this is a number 16, it's one of the allegedly one of the hard problems of the section it's really not that bad but it just goes to show you and this could this lesson could be applied to other questions as well but i just focused on it for this one that the more ways you can solve a question and the different ways you can approach a problem and still get the same answer just maximizes your chances of not making a mistake and actually getting the question right to learn more about reason prep's sat sat subject test and act video courses go to reasonprep.com enroll and you can find the link in the description below the video.